Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Sister Gloria. Today, y'all, want somebody to know that it is not too late. It's not too late. You see, that's what the enemy, he'll speak to us and try to make us think we too old, we don't know enough. But if you got the greater one, which is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, living on the inside of you. You are more than a conqueror. You are victorious. And the Lord wants you to know that the battle, the battle has already been won. He already, he already, he already won the battle for us. And the scripture declares, it says, for the battle is not given to the swift, nor to the strong, but to the one who endures to the end. So that means we got to, we got to endure, y'all, this hardness, God. Uh, cause, cause it's the enemy's job to distract us, to keep us from doing what we're supposed to do for God. It is not too late. Continue in prayer. The word of God said to cease not to pray. Luke 18 and 1. Men ought to always pray it and don't faint. Yeah, we get tired. Yeah. Sometimes we do want to, you know, we, we be, I've been there. Where I want to just say, I'm, I'm just, Lord, I'm tired. But look, it's just something in me just, uh, it keep, it keep uh, just springing up. It won't let me, it won't let me give up. The Spirit won't let me give up. I have to keep going and going and going. Sometimes I do want to give up. That, that, was, that was in the past. But not now, y'all. Um, I just think on what God has done. How he's... Just think about how he's kept you. Think about all the good stuff he do for you. It's the enemy's job. Don't never forget this. It's the enemy's job to throw a monkey wrench in the in, in the mix. So so oh let me let me see can I slow him down? Let me let me see can I stop him? See, I don't even want to give him no credit. But y'all, he is consistent, persistent. He he don't never give up. Mm. And so that's how we gotta be. That's how I gotta be. So, so we can help somebody. Because you know what? We can't help nobody if we are down and, and you know, we, you know, feeling sorry for ourselves. And This is the most I've ever cried. Y'all see me cry? I was shocked because I ain't no crier. I thought I always had to be um, defending myself. On the offense. I'm just telling the truth. But I thank God because he's my defense. He's my shield and my buckler. He give me what I need when I need it. Yeah. He's my everything. Without him, I'm nothing. I, I, I praise his name. Lord, thank you so much. You know, sometimes just giving God the praise. Just telling him, Lord, thank you. You be like, through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Through it all. Through it all. And we thank God. Hallelujah. We thank him. Thank him for the good, the bad, and the ugly. And you know what? The bad because... When you, when you just look back over your life and you just see how God has delivered from, from certain things, you, you be like, thank you. Only God could, only God could do it. People pray for us and Lord have mercy. The Bible tells us to pray one for the other that we may be healed. He tells us that, that we should be praying for each other. But what we need, God is the one that give it to us. He's the one that supply our every need. 
and, and I'm not talking about no, no physical needs because when we serve him, we seek after him, we go after him, he gonna make sure we got what we need. He gonna even give us stuff we ain't even asked for. That's the kind of God we serve. And it's a blessing to know him. In these last and evil days, y'all, this world, this world is like a rotten apple. And like a rotten apple, is on the inside. And the, and 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 I, I'm gonna look at it as the saints, we the outside of the apple. And, but once it get bit into, we find out it's rotten. This world is is rotting every day. Jesus is coming, y'all. Jesus, he is coming. He is coming. He coming to get us, y'all. And we got to be ready. The, the word of God uh, uh, declares that he coming in the twinkling of an eye. Blank your eye. That's how fast he coming. You won't have time to say, Lord, forgive me. It's time to do it now. It's time to come clean now. Because cause when you die, when you leave this world, you can't do it. You can't repent once you die. The word of God declares, if you're going to be filthy, be filthy. If you're going to be, what's it? If you be filthy, if you're going to be filthy, be filthy. If you're going to be still, be still. If you're going to be holy, be holy. I might be a little off. But whatever state he find us in, we hope it be it be in righteousness. We hope that we be walking in faith when it comes. That we have repented of our sins and we have turned from our wicked ways. I'm going to put that scripture in the description box. Because I don't believe I... You know what? Here it go. If you're going to be just, be just. If you're going to be filthy, be filthy. If you're going to be holy, be holy. I'm not quite sure if I said it right. But I'm going to put it in the description box. Father, thank you so much. I give him glory. Lord, we give you glory. And we honor your name, Lord, your righteous name. Lord, you are faithful and you are just. Your, your, your judgments are just and fair. But he don't make no mistakes. Uh, thank you for your mercy and your kindness. Thank you for how you provide and you protect us, Lord, from all the, 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 the tactics of the enemy. Thank you, Lord, that you didn't let him have his way with us, Father. We thank you. We give you glory and honor and praise, Lord. And Lord, we pray for our sisters and brothers, Lord, that are suffering, God. Lord, help us to continue in the faith, enduring hardness as good soldiers, stay in the course. Lord, help us not to throw in the towel. In Jesus' name. And, and, and if you ain't saved, if you have not given your life to Christ, what you waiting on? What if you don't wake up tomorrow? What if the, the rest of the day is a possibility it might not be promised the rest of nobody knows. That's why you gotta you, you gotta get ready and stay ready. Be ready at all times because nobody knows when Jesus is coming. It could happen at any moment because we don't know. You just gotta be ready. Just got to be ready. You just got to be ready. I, 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 I'm thinking about the time that I saw the sky roll back. I don't share this, but I, it might be somebody new to come along. They need to hear it. And then I, I ain't going to tell the whole story, but I'm, I'm just want to talk about this a little bit of, uh, of what the Lord showed me. How this lady was sitting in her rocking chair, rocking her baby. Just rocking her baby back and forth, back and forth. I saw these big hands come and snatch her baby out of her hand. All she could do was holler, where is my baby? Then I saw, I saw people popping up like popcorn in the air. Word of God says, we're going to be caught up to meet them in the air. That's only if you're giving your life to Christ. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I remember 
uh, in that dream, I remember this one man I saw. I saw all the, it was just people just popping up, popping up, popping up. But this one man, I knew he had just got off work. I just knew it. And he was dressed nice, casual dress. And I, and I remember his haircut, had a nice haircut. And he was going up. And he was looking at me and he was just smiling. Oh, he was he was smiling like, oh, I'm I'm out of here. I knew what was going on. But y'all, when I woke up, I realized I didn't go. Hey, look, we don't know when Jesus Christ is coming. Give your life to Christ. Today. Stop putting him off. He's available right now he's available right now while you got breath in your body don't put him off for you that are saved live the life because just because we say we say we got to live a life this this, this is a a, a a a life that you don't put it down and pick it up like we don't put it down on 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 Monday through Monday through Saturday and we just live any kind of way. And then we get saved on Sunday. You know, we we prepare. We get our Bibles, put on our Usher uniforms, we put on our collars and we put on them them robes and stuff and then we we act like we've been living the life all week long. But hey look y'all it's being recorded. It's being recorded. Repent of your sins and turn from your wicked ways. Tell the devil, I, 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 I don't do those things no more. The word of God says, submit yourself therefore unto God. Resist him. Resist him. When I say it to you, I'm saying it to myself. Lord, thank you. Thank you for that one Lord that, that's not saved. Right now, ask God to forgive you of your sins. It's telling you sorry. Be godly sorry for what you've done. 